guys so before we begin I do want to say that I did get inspired by this girl right here I actually found her on Pinterest so I don't know her name so if anyone knows it please let me know down below so I can give her some proper credit so yes so now to begin I'm gonna be using the Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe palette and I'm gonna be using the warm brown that I showed and I'm just gonna be applying that to my crease and I'm also gonna be flicking it out just a little bit to create that um, cut crease we're gonna be doing so now to deepen it up a bit, I am going to be using the dark brown shade and I'm just going to be applying that to the same place just a little bit more precisely. The concealer I'm going to be using for the cut crease is going to be the Shape Tape Concealer and I'm just going to be applying that on my lid to create the cut crease. And to set it, I'm going to go ahead and use a black shade from the Morphe palette. So continuing with the same concealer, I'm just going to apply it above the black shadow and this is pretty much where I'm going to be applying the orange color for the neon stripe. So as you can see, I'm trying to be as precise as possible from the top section and the bottom section. I can quickly fix it with the black shadow if I made any mistakes. So now once I'm done with the concealer, I'm just going to go ahead and apply the orange color and the color is from the 35N palette, I believe from Morphe. And yeah, I'm just going to be setting the concealer. Once I'm done, I'm going to go back with the concealer and apply another layer, a thinner layer of concealer. And then I'll go ahead and set it. The reason why I keep layering is because I feel like the color gets brighter every time that I apply concealer. So yes, I feel like that helps a little bit with the neon color. Next, to make the neon, you know, more neon, I'm going to be applying some white liner and this is from NYX Cosmetics and I'm just going to be doing a very thin line in between the orange color and you guys to be completely honest this is kind of hard like trying to have a very precise white line it was kind of hard but anyways I'm going to be doing the same thing to the bottom section of the wing and once I'm done I'm going to be using that white shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to be combining it with some orange color from the 35B palette actually not in so yeah, that's just going to help with the, you know, it's going to give it like a more effective inner corner highlight, like with an orange tint to it. So now I'm just going to be tight lining my eyes just because I don't want any skin showing through the blackness. So I'm going to make sure that everything stays completely black. For lashes, I use Coco Lashes in the style Goddess. And for the bottom section of my eyes, I'm just going to be applying some orange color all around the lower lash line and just applying black liner and setting the black liner with some black shadow and kind of smudging it down a little bit and lastly i'm just applying some mascara so here's where i'm going to start outlining everything that i want to plan so first i started with my nose i was going to do everything at once but i decided to just do my nose first so i outlined a little bit and then i went ahead and used this black liner this is from vulgar ugh, vulgar cosmetics and it's just a gel liner and i thought it was a great idea to use a gel liner if you don't know what paint to use so yeah if you guys have a gel liner i totally recommend you guys use it because it is really easy to use so anyways what i'm doing here is just pretty much the same thing that i did on my eyes i pretty much layered concealer twice and kept covering it up with some orange color and at the end i just went ahead and outlined the nose for the mouth section, I'm going to be using the same method. I'm going to be beginning with my white liner and just outlining everything. As you guys can see, I started with just the shape, not with the little, you know, like teeth or whatever you want to call those things. So yes, I just pretty much started with the shape, kind of like measuring how big I wanted, how long I wanted. Once I had the shape done, I went ahead and filled it up with a bigger brush and the same gel liner. And as you can see, it's pretty black. I really do like it. So yes, that is pretty much what I'm doing here. Now with a smaller brush, a very thin brush this is actually an eyeliner brush and it's from the same company the vulgar cosmetics company i'm just gonna start doing the little teeth or fangs i'm not sure what they are but yes i'm gonna start doing those so how i decided to do them was kind of facing inwards but at the same time not facing inwards if i'm making any sense and also not perfect i don't want to have them like really messy but i also didn't want to have them really you know perfect because the whole thing was for it to look a little bit like creepy and you guys i know i'm making like zero sense 
and good thing is that you guys have the video to reference from because I just really suck at explaining so I'm trying my very best I promise so next what I did is just basically did the same exact steps and I applied concealer set it with the orange color applied concealer again set it with the orange color and finally the white line the only thing that I'm gonna say is that I did kind of skipped the other half of my face meaning the first concealer section i kind of skipped it because my face was kind of tacky already so i just went ahead and used the tackiness to apply the orange color and it kind of worked so once i had applied the first layer i went ahead and applied the concealer the second time and for this one i did apply it all over my face all over the little teeth And then lastly, I just went ahead and set it. I feel like this video is kind of like really easy, you know, because it's pretty basic. But the only thing that is hard is just trying to do it perfect. So yes, the last step is pretty much applying the white liner to the little teeth. And that is pretty much it, you guys. Hope you guys liked the tutorial. And don't forget to tag me on your social media so I could see your recreation of this skull slash pumpkin Halloween tutorial. So I would love to share with others. And yeah, you guys, I'll see you on my next video.